So I got up pretty early this morning. I think I woke up probably 6.30 a.m. Really don't have very much sleep, but had a hard time getting back to sleep. And uh, was being flooded with notifications. One of our players on the Overwatch team was um, actively throwing matches and trolling and just acting very childish while streaming and uh you know to a pretty sizable audience a thousand people or so so right out of the gate this morning um had some immediate damage control and it's it's a tough situation because um there's a lot of warning signs there not going to dive into details but historically you know we've been we've always been really good to our players i like to think that and then you know, players that are with us and players that have been with us, I think, would, would agree with that. In the past, I've personally paid for uh, players to speak to people like sports psychologists to really help them um, as a person and as a player. And I, I think this is a situation where some type of professional help or professional assistance would be tremendously valuable. So um spent a little bit of time this morning just kind of in the, the standard damage control, but really more so concerned for the player than for anything else because you know one one bad thing can certainly harm a reputation but I think our reputation's been pretty well maintained so far and the the health and happiness and um, mental stability mental health of a player is more important than any of reputation or stupid shit like that so um, it's another day where it's raining, another day where I don't have a lot of sleep, and having to start the day with something like that sucks, but that's the reality of when you own a business, when you own and, and work on something, that it's not always easy, it's not always fun, it's not, not always the enjoyable stuff. There's things like this too. So that's how I started my day today. It's like 9 a.m. I've been up for hours and... Uh, have been you know actively working on stuff since I got up so right now um, I'm hoping that uh, I can kind of switch gears a little bit and get on some other things that I was hoping to do and maybe get them done a little earlier um, so that's that's how we started our Thursday it is now three o'clock in the afternoon um, I ended up taking care of what I needed to earlier in the day which was important I'm feeling a little bit better about that now and because I didn't get very much sleep I ended up taking about a one hour nap. I watched the uh, Comey press conference on Twitch which Twitch chat just made that so much better and uh, we just got back from a real quick um, run to the store for like some of the smaller grocery items to make sure that we have stuff for you know sides and whatever else. So right now I'll probably uh, keep jump on the PC, see what's going on, get caught up on a couple things, and then from here either stream or game, or um, there's a couple things I wanted to do uh, specifically on YouTube that I might start doing just to just kind of get more active uh, on commenting and doing those kinds of things. So I might spend the next uh, 30, 30 to 60 minutes just kind of playing around and uh, doing all that kind of thing. Yeah, so I think that's good. That's that's kind of the plan right now. It is sunny, but the backyard is still kind of muddy, so I might not play tug with Eli today. We might play tomorrow instead. Uh, hopefully, you know, the, the water seeps out and it dries up with the sun out today. But there's a chance that later on today we'll play. And if not, we'll probably train a little bit. Right, buddy? I allowed my partner to handle things the way that he wanted to handle them, that he felt like they should be handled. I, I'm, I don't want to say I'm zero tolerance, because I tend to be really good to the players. But to me, I, I probably would have just completely released them entirely. Just heard from Blizzard that they're going to be suspending the player that we had some issues with uh, last night. Uh, for the rest of the competitive season for ranked games, he will be ineligible and disqualified from competing in the Overwatch Contenders League Season 0, which is going on right now, that we're in, as well as Season 1, which is next season. So we had to deliver that news to the player. We're complete agreement with blizzard on it i actually think it's fairly lenient and yeah so just kind of dealing with that uh, he'll be suspended and will no longer be playing on our, our active roster and now we have to find a player to fill in and, and substitute for the rest of the overwatch contenders uh, season zero on on a more positive note 
I recorded a bunch of CSGO stuff, felt good to kind of get back in there. I didn't remember that the minor started today, so I pulled up Twitch and there was matches going on of teams that I actually give a crap about. So I got to watch a little bit of that, kind of got some of the analytical juices flowing, and uh, just decided to fire up the game and jump in and start clipping some stuff and sharing some thoughts and documenting some things. And I already posted one, which I think it's brought me five or six new subscribers, and it's already 20 something views. and. I know that that's the type of content I think that I can do really well with here on this channel, but I'm doing a little bit of everything. So you'll see that. You'll probably see some Overwatch, eventually some Heroes, whatever. <clears throat> so that's good news, and that's a little bit better. I just finished eating right now. I'm watching Complexity and Energy compete and um, waiting to publish this news. Once this news gets published with uh, the statement that my, my uh, partner wanted to, to put out there, see what the response is, kind of have to manage that. And, um, yeah, just kind of put that out there, manage the response, see what it's like, keep on moving. It's days like today that I think when people think like, oh, I'm going to own an esports org, it's going to be amazing. Days like today are the ones that, that they don't see too much of where you're just getting destroyed because a player fucked up or a player did something terrible or did or said something wrong or insulted somebody important or whatever. Then you get this huge internet backlash and Reddit hates you. It's days like today that are really tough. So we're steering the way through it. Again, the news announcement will go out shortly. And by the time you guys see this, it'll have been out. Just, uh, it's, it's, it's been a little bit of a rough day. Enjoy the rest of these Counter-Strike matches and, and maybe play some Heroes later tonight and kind of bounce the day back in a more positive direction. I've been trying to get a win for like two hours and 26 minutes to complete my whatever quest thing for the day in HOTS to get gold. And I just did it on stream with nine or ten people watching, which is a lot for me playing a game I'm freaking god awful at. Just got my 600 gold. Nice. Now it's time for stream doge. Okay. There he is. So I think we're going to go have another glass of wine. And then, oh, the kisses. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. All right. That was very sweet. So I think we're going to have a glass of wine and uh, maybe a little late night snack. And then we're going to bed. Thank you for the yawn on my face. Oh, that's a good spot right there. Oh, yeah. Is that a good spot? Let's go.